Well guys, welcome to Las Mas Palomas. This is where all the Giris come, all the foreigners. Look at the beautiful Playa de Ingles underneath us and those are the dunes in the distance. Some of the most extraordinary sand dunes in the world right there. And the city Mas Palomas, as you can see, filled with tourists, but lots of hotels. We're gonna be staying here tonight and later on, we'll go explore the dunes. But for now, we're gonna be heading up into the mountains nearby to get some better views of the area to hike. And I'll see you guys on the hiking trail. But check it out. Las Dunas de Mas Palomas. Well, I put on my hat because the sun's actually a lot stronger here. We're closer to the, the equator. Keep that in mind. There's many microclimates here on the island. I think Carlos told me there's up to seven. We were just in Las Palmas. It was a little bit chilly, cloudy, even raining a little bit. We're gonna be ascending into the mountains where it's gonna still be dry and sunny like this, but eventually you'll see the cloud cover in the distance later on in the day. And that's sort of what makes this archipelago so unique is all these microclimates on every single island. Each island has something different to offer, whether it's Gran Canarias, Lanzarote, you saw my videos in Tenerife last summer. So let's explore these microclimates and the life here in Las Paz Palomas. Vale, gracias. Well, you guys, that lovely lady in there showed us, or she gave us, this passport for a Camino, right? We're gonna do a pilgrimage across the island. Similar to the Camino de Santiago, but the Canary Island version. Wow, it's windy, oh my God. For those that come to get the sun in the beach, the hotel, seeing the restaurants, this is your place. It's just loaded with those places. And of course, the dunes in the background. But one of the reasons that US tourists don't frequent the Canary Islands like Europeans is because the lack of connecting flights. I only think there's one direct flight from Miami. Otherwise, you gotta come to Europe, to Spain, to France, to the UK, and then get a flight from one of the airports there to here. So most of the tourists here are from Europe. Look guys, I wanna tell you something. In the peninsula, the Spanish peninsula, the Iberian peninsula, we always have olive oil and gazpacho. But here in the Canary Islands, we have mo picon. It's the secret sauce, so to speak. It's what gives me energy, keeps the engine running, la puerta de la cantera y por la derecha tienes la entrada de pista ancha y por ahí para adentro entras ya por el camino oficial y ese ya te lleva prácticamente sin pérdidas porque no tiene ningún desvío Crikey What the hell are Carlos and I doing with our lives here? All this volcanic sharp rock and trying to find a trail that supposedly exists but I don't know exactly Check it out. The adventures of Carlos and Elliot. Wow. Tenemos que ir ahí, bajar ahí, pero bueno. That's the trail down there. It goes through this canyon. We've literally encountered an aqueduct with, with running water. And I wonder, this must come from the mountains to the north. Interesting. Reroute has gone to plan. Whoa. Oh, and we came to under this aqueduct. All right. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Eso. All right, we're making it. All right. Oh, yeah. Whoa, a Canary Island house. We have some chickens. Oh, some people live here. I don't want to alarm them. Hopefully there's no dogs that can get off the chain. Vamos ahí a Tunte. Gracias. Well, now the real hiking begins. So a little history, you guys. So near the end of the 15th century, these islands were conquered by the Spanish and the people that inhabited the island before 
the Spanish were the native Guanche people, right? And scientists believe they were native to the continent of Africa, Northwest Africa. What would now be Morocco, Mauritania, Western Sahara. And they've done genetic research that the people in Puerto Rico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, well, they have the same genetics as the Guanche people. And like I said, the main group of immigrants that went from here in Europe were a mix of Extremeños, people from Extremadura, Andaluces, Gallegos, Galician people, Asturian people, and Canarian people. Kilometers and kilometers of vast, empty, canyon-like, desert-like terrain here. Now, another reason that people here, Los Isleños, the Canary Islanders, ended up immigrating to the Americas was because sometimes life here was very hard with the islands being isolated and geographically speaking, some parts of the island are very desolate, not a lot of things to live on. So you can imagine people living in the territory like this. What were they to do? They thought a better future awaited them in the Americas, at least better than the life they had at the time here in the Canary Islands. Well, guys, we finally found some shade to have some lunch. I say mucho color. Pero por lo menos tengo mi salsa secreta. All right, so we haven't seen one of these uh, arrows here. Here we go for the last uh, five, six kilometers, but we're in a dried up riverbed. It seems like we're on track. Water's getting low actually, so hoping that around this uh, canyon here, this corner that we discover, a nice Canarian village with a nice Canarian restaurant. This day just keeps getting longer. At the end of this uh, valley here, there's a little house we can see. Hopefully it has water. There's some palm trees here. It's not an optical illusion. It's But at this point, we're out of water. We've been going now for about three or four hours. <sighs> well, you can see that at least during some point of the year, there's water running through this dry riverbed. We've been meandering along it the last three or four hours here. And we saw a building up there, a house. So let's uh, let's hope there's some water and some Canarian food there. <laughs> what am I doing to myself? This is like torture, you guys. I could be at the beach having a beer right now, you guys. <laughs> no end in sight. We walked all of that. Oh God, I'm really thirsty. Oh, I don't know, this is crazy. It's very pretty, but <sighs> super dehydrated. And uh, I think the town's over this cliff here. I really don't have any more energy. Vale. Gracias por parar, de verdad. La otra ciudad, Arteara. Oh, Arteara, mire. Está, está lejísimo, ¿no? Tiene que eso, si está y aquello ya lejos, ¿ves? La, la otra subida, pero tiene que llegar al fondo, para allá, para acá, para allá y después para allá, o sea. Es, está. Como un culebro, como un culebro. Sí. 
Mejor que vamos ahí andando, sí, sí, seguimos. No tengo fría, fría, pero... Está bien. Pero algo... Um, usted, <risa> ¿Ustedes son de aquí, de la, del pueblo, de la Mapaloma? Vivimos ahí. ¿En este...? En este... ¿Han comido algo? ¿Quiere pan? No, no, tenemos comida. Gracias por la Coca-Cola, ¿eh? Muchísimas gracias. El americano de Wisconsin. Estadounidense. Canario. Dice que es muy bueno que, yo, que seamos de diferentes sitios y seamos amigos. Sí, somos amigos. Muy buena gente, muy buena gente. Sí, es que se quedó no. un poquillo mal, ¿no? Estoy deshidratado, ¿sabe? Ya con la Coca-Cola, ya. La lima, la lima. Y mejor cero. Sin azúcar. Gorito, gorito, ya. España me puso gorito por, con todas las tapas. ¿Con todas las tapas? Las tapas. Las tapas de la península de Málaga y de Madrid. Adiós. Que le vayan bien. Cuídense, cuídense. Y ustedes también. Gracias. Wow, what legends. The Abuelitas Canarias. They live there in the distance. They literally live there. I wonder if they have any other people there. Just two abuelitas. Wow. Dos abuelitas. Que valientes, eh? Let's try the best Coca Cola in my life. Oh. Oh my God. Try it, bro. Pruébalo. No, bebe tú, bebe tú. Yo sí, bebe. Ahora me deja un poquito. I've never tasted a Coca-Cola better in my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Viva la Canaria! Me da pilas. Recargo mi pilas. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Oh my God. All right, we got to get to the village. You guys, I got to be honest, I was regretting that uh, this hike together but this is why we do it there's a little village down there wowzers increíble carlo gracias por invitarme here's a little uh view for all of you who are afraid of heights oh my god I really think that uh, if those Canarian abuelitas didn't stop and uh, give me that coke, I don't think I'd be walking right now because I was really at the point of exhaustion. I was feeling dizzy. I'm still feeling a little dizzy. <laughs> Carlos, so this guy's a, a machine. So we're heading down to this village down there. I mean, just look at this canyon, you guys. So beautiful. This whole island is gorgeous. And over on the other side, you can see clouds might be hard to make out that's because there's another microclimate and uh change of scenery that you'll see perhaps tomorrow whoa un perrito de ayagawa hola mira este pueblo wow very beautiful whoa we got a bicycle rider hola como estas todo bien ayagawares Nice little village. Bar La Cueva. It's kind of made into a cave here. Check it out. Let's see if they have something cold to drink here. I'm dead. Hola. Oh yeah. Looks open. Hola. Tiene la cocina está abierta. Sí. Qué bien. Español. Aquí. Por donde ustedes quieran. Gracias. Vamos. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. oh, we made it. You guys look a little beat up. Ropa vieja, por favor. Pero para beber, drink. Drink. Ah, tiene tropical sí. y un agua. Con gas. Con gas, por favor. ¿Cómo tengo que ver ahora? All right, thanks. Take, take care. Tropical. Eso. Ok, eso es suavecito, ¿no? Es suave. Pero este rojo es una salsa picante. No. Qué picante. No. <laughs> Está bueno. Well, you guys, they, they eat some really uh, good, interesting food here. We have uh, ropa vieja, which is like technically old clothes. So we got potatoes, some sauce, garbanzo, some beef, really tender, some red pepper that's not spicy. 
Uh, we have the papas arrugadas, which literally means wrinkled potatoes, and the, the famous Canary Island sauce called mo picon. So this stuff is not that sp spicy. This stuff is really spicy, and this stuff's medium. But here's the papas arrugadas, and you guys, I gotta say, all of it's delicious. And we're here at a nice place called La Cuevita, kind of built into a cave on the side of the mountain here, and this little Canary Island village. And man, today was, oh, today was a hard hike, you guys. Mostly because I, would de I was dehydrated and I didn't have enough water. Again, my fault. But uh, I'm rehydrating now with some mineral water and some uh, tropical beer, some Canary Island beer. All right, let's give the beer a taste. It's a malt beer. Very smooth and not as strong as the beers that you'll find on the peninsula, but Okay, Paco's gonna show us the uh, inside. Here we go. Nice restaurant. Wow, this is the cave, La Cueva, La Cuevita. La Presa. Las Presas, this is a dam. Oh, pardon. 1940, you guys, this village, this uh, area, this restaurant, the, the, the dam. Very interesting, Una Cueva. Paco. Y tiene vino de, de la Canaria, ¿no? Tenemos vino también. Que, que tiene la uva malavasia, ¿no? Sí, la, la uva. Ah, ok. This is how he um, makes, cooks the meat. All right. Wow, check that out, you guys. Wow. Hola. Carbón. Yes. Chuletón, uh -huh. conejo, pollo, a la brasa. Ok. Todo. Eso es tu... Sí. donde trabajas, donde curras. Este es mi recinto. Ah, ok, tu recinto. Muy uh -huh. bien. Me gusta, me gusta. Wow. The legendary Hola. Cuevita. Hola. Hola. What a nice guy, what a nice guy here, Paco. Hola. He's really, uh, wants some business at his restaurant, I'm sure. We have some mountain goats here, some art in the mountains, the canary palm tree. Beautiful place here, beautiful place. And I paid 15 euros for the all the food and the drinks we have here. So you guys, I want to take a moment to uh, mention my sponsor. This is West Cork Beard Company Products from up in Clonakilty, Ireland. My buddy Colin, well he gifted this to me and it's really good stuff you guys. Especially here in the Canary Islands where it's really dry. And so after I go take a shower and uh, clean up after this long hike, I'm going to use this to moisturize my beard. And this stuff is peppermint and tea tree. Different than the stuff I was using, the lavender. And it's really nice, you guys. I really like it, especially here in a place like the Canary Islands. So you can see the link in the description. Well, you guys, I thought I was gonna show you the sand dunes, but that will have to wait tomorrow. I am just shattered. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>